Hey, good afternoon. It's Edna Keefe here. And uh, today we are doing a free coaching Friday on Thursday. And uh, the reason for that is we are going to be out of town tomorrow. So uh, we want to make sure that we connect with you this week before the holidays uh, all get started. So uh, hi, Corny. How are you today? Good to see you on. That's awesome. Um, so uh, I had a few questions from last week that I wasn't able to get to when I was doing my uh, uh, call. Oops, sorry. And uh, so I thought I would cover those off first. And then, of course, as always, if you have any questions, uh, please just type them into the uh, question box there and I'll get them answered for you. So... Um, some of the questions that I had uh, from from last week that I didn't get to answer was um, getting started with some small multifamily properties. And after listening to many podcasts and reading, uh, it seems that one of the biggest issues with being a landlord is retaining high quality tenants. And you know what? That is so true. It, it's not easy to retain high quality tenants. Uh, but what I want you to think about uh, when you're looking for tenants is uh, get all your I's dotted and your T's crossed ahead of time. Ask everything you could possibly want to know. Uh, and look at their car when they, you know, uh, if, if you see their car when they come to uh, look at the property, uh, make note of it. Is it clean? Is it dirty? Is it disgusting? Like walk up to the door and have a look in. You might be surprised at, uh, at what you'd find. Because uh, a lot of people present really, really well, but uh, the place they live in and, and the car they drive is not, not very clean. So make note of that. Get the credit check done. Uh, that's a really big one. Um, and, and I know that uh, credit check doesn't say everything. There are some really good renters if, if uh, even though they've had uh, credit challenges. But if it's consistent, consistent credit challenges and it's brand new, then you're probably going to have, uh, or not brand new, but it's showing up on their credit report uh, lately. Uh, it, it's pr they're, they're probably not a good place in their life and may not be the best tenants. Uh, we kind of go with the rule that uh, we want to have 550 or, or above on the credit score. If they're lower than that, uh, that's not really good. Now, there are extenuating circumstances uh, sometimes, so listen to that. Get their, uh, get their references. Definitely call their references. That's a really big deal. Uh, and um, one of the things that we learned early on it was in calling references was not just, just to uh, say, hey, I'm calling to get a reference on so-and-so, but to, to call and say things like, uh, hey, I'm looking for, for a place to rent. And they don't have any places to rent. We got the wrong number. Then you know what? You know that that landlord reference they gave you is not a landlord. You know, because they do set stuff up like that. And and the the other thing is, uh, you know, if you do have a good tenant, treat them good. Treat them really good. They're customers. They're paying you, you know, anywhere from... Uh, uh, well, if, just think if it's $1,000 a month, that's $12,000 a year. That's a really good customer. So get some gifts, uh, Christmas gifts. Christmas is a great time to give them a gift. gift. Uh, and uh, something nice is just a gift certificate, you know, whether it's to a restaurant, a local restaurant uh, that they could even just walk to. Uh, those are always appreciated. And hi, Tyler. How are you? Hi, Jeff. Um those are always appreciated by tenants, uh, and and I would think that they they'd be really happy. The other thing is to get to know them a bit. Um, one of the things that I was actually listening to uh, my rain CDs this week, and they said uh, uh, you can't let your property managers do everything for you. You know, you think they can't call every single one of your tenants. They could be managing 150 tenants and wish them a Merry Christmas, but you could. Uh, just don't tell them you're the owner. You could say, hi, this is Jeff. I'm from uh, so-and-so uh, property management, and I'm just calling to, to check up on you. How's things going? Is, is your property okay? Is there any concerns you have? And you know, if they're having some concerns with some of the property management, maybe that's, uh, that's when you'll hear about it. So I thought that that was a really good tip uh, just recently when it comes to dealing with tenants. Uh, what else do we got here? Uh, 
um, I think Dean Graziosi, I was listening to something he said the other day, uh, I think it was him. He said he gives every tenant that pays on time, like on the first of the month, every month he gives them a $25 gift certificate. And I thought that was really, really nice thing to do. I never thought about that before, but you know what? Those are ideal tenants is the ones who pay us on the first of the month. So, uh, oh, Judy says, I can't listen or see from California. Oh, well, I feel sorry for you. Ha ha. <laughs> You'll miss a good you'll miss a good call, but we're missing the warm weather, so you enjoy it there. Uh, oh, hello, Mark. Uh, I know where you're at. Yes, I do. Hope things are going good. Um, Corny says, "Don't tell my wife I'm supposed to be Christmas shopping." Snuck away to the toy section to get some coaching in. <laughs> good for you. You're a diehard, Corny. That's awesome. I love that about you. <laughs> Okay, so just that was just a little bit of advice I was giving on um, how to get uh, good tenants and how to keep them. Um, okay, what else do we got here? Here's another one. This is from Rob. He says, um, "Oh, he's actually he's asking something about wholesaling, and I'm not uh, I'm not an expert on wholesaling, so I'm just gonna pass that one by." Oh, this is a, okay. This is a good question. So uh, this person it just recently uh, bought a building, uh, a multifamily, and he's taken over ten tenants at one time. And he says, "So, what's your process when you inherit tenants? Uh, do you have them sign a new lease or just get the old one assigned? Do you run credit checks? What else do you do when you inherit tenants at closing?" Uh, when do you step in in your process before closing, at closing, or after? Um, okay, so th so that's a really good question and it's something you need to know. What we've done is uh, we get all the leases from the uh, people that we bought it from and uh, we go through it thoroughly and we like to get new leases signed. Uh, every once in a while a tenant uh, won't want to do that. Uh, they, have, they have some issues with it. It's not a really big deal, especially if they've been a good tenant, but it's nice to have everything on your own uh, lease document and stuff like that. And it gives you a chance to talk to them and just see uh, you know, what they liked about their last landlords, what they didn't like, what you could do better, that sort of thing. Um, so um, good questions. And what we do is we get the leases ahead of time and but on the day of closing is is when we send out or or maybe a little bit before we usually try not to take possession on the first and be collecting rent the same day we'll usually try to uh, take possession on the second or third uh, let the other group uh, collect rent and then get our uh, prorated portion of it and then it gives us some time to get our uh, our signs up and uh, our notices out of who to write the checks to going forward but uh, okay so very very good question um some of the questions are not clear just in case you're wondering why I'm going by them can't can't really uh, uh figure out what they're trying to ask And some of them are too long. <laughs> I have one here that's two pages long. I'm not going to be on here a long time today, so I'm not going to go with the really long ones. Um, a newbie investor says, I'm looking to connect with folks who are like-minded investors who want to work together to build wealth. I have a dual background in being an agent as well as an investor, so I'm able to find deals and minimize costs by keeping all the work in-house. Uh, oh, you know what? So the question is, so where where do I find like-minded individuals? Well, you know what? Every um, uh, every city, almost the bigger cities anyway, have a, a city um, 
real estate investment company. Uh, we have one right here in, in Regina. We run it and it's called Profit in the Prairies Real Estate Investment Group. We meet the last Wednesday of every month. I know there's really good ones in Edmonton, Calgary, Vancouver. There's there's probably some in all, every major city there is. And in some cities like Winnipeg, I think there's like five or ten of them. There's a lot. So, um, oh yes, Tyler, is it okay if we ask you a question on the uh, live feed. Absolutely. I'd love it if you'd ask me some questions. That'd be really good. Um, uh, but anyway, yeah, that's a great place to network with fellow investors. And uh, the the other place is uh, when you're when you're driving around and you see what looks like a re renovation under contract and it looks like it could be an investment area pop in and just say hi and just talk to them and see what they're doing where they're where they hang out and where they uh, where the meetings are if you don't know uh, and then of course there's google google it and see who's running the meetings in your local area that's a good way to go okay i'm just gonna see what other questions i have on here Honestly, some of these questions are like a whole page long and take me even too long just to read it. And some of them are not investment related. Anyway, Tyler, did you have your question up? I'd love to answer your question. You usually have some good ones. <laughs> Yeah, there are these some of these questions are really long. I think I'll just um I think I'm going to have to downsize those questions. They're they're just a little long. But yeah, please go ahead and uh, type any questions in there. I'd love to be able to answer them for you. Um oh, here we go. So, I'm having a heck of a time finding the information to finish up module 3. Do you have any resources to complete module 3? That's knowing your market to analyze cap rates. Um you know what, a, a good place to start is the CMHC report, uh, which you can actually sign up to get uh, monthly. Does it come out monthly or quarterly? Anyway, it comes out. Uh, you can sign it up, sign up, they send you an email. Uh, the other uh, way to look is if you're looking at um, investing in, in uh, Regina or Saskatoon, check out the city uh, website. They got some really good uh, topics in there. Um, so kind of depending on your on which which um, which market you're going to be in, but the the larger ones are mentioned in there. The smaller ones are not mentioned in the CMHC report, but uh, each town and city has um, has their own stuff about their own market. Uh, another place to talk uh, is a realtor. Like when you're talking to a realtor, ask them what the uh, what the cap rates are in the different areas in the city. Uh, and you can let them know that you're new and you're just kind of trying to find out, <coughs> depending on how busy they are, whether they'll take the time to answer you. Um, so that that's probably the best way. Just check MLS for any listings that might be on and then uh, then check with them. Uh, get them, ask them what they think, what the what the cap rates are, what the uh, what what things are selling for. You know, just just ask them the general questions. You'll find out. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I just need to have a drink here. So one thing I really wanted to uh, bring up today, um, Chandel tells me that she's having a hard time. <coughs> getting our ads through for um, for the course that's coming up and uh, we got we got a new course uh, opening up January 10th and for the month of December uh, we're offering it on sale so all last year I sold this program for five thousand dollars had some really good feedback in it. a lot of people got a lot out of it and that's actually what Tyler was talking about in there he's in module three of the one of that started in December and uh, so each week uh, you get homework 
and uh, your homework is checked by me to make sure that you're on right track because sometimes it is a little difficult like Tyler said like where, where do I start looking and uh, you know where where do we you know saying if we're going into a new area where do we start looking I always start looking on the city websites uh, that tells you and then I look at the MLS in that area those are the two areas that I start with and then I try to have a conversation with somebody who looks like they're uh, an, an uh, real estate uh, realtor investor because if they're an investor, they understand it a lot better. And then if you go with the commercial side, well, they'll understand it too. So th those are some of the things that you learn in that, some of your homework. And, um, uh, and anyway, I was actually talking to one of my students yesterday. And we were talking about uh, what were some of the biggest things that she learned last year as opposed, um, uh, as opposed to the year before. And she said, well, I bought my first multifamily last year. And you know, I was terrified at the beginning because there's a lot of work involved. But she said, as I went through it, I realized that everyone is there to help, whether it's a mortgage broker uh, or the lender or the realtor, uh, you know, my coach, everybody, even the fellow students are all so helpful. She says, I'm just, I just wasn't used to that from my uh, prior job. So she says, it, it's just so pleasant to be, to be treated like somebody who has a brain and has good questions instead of just kind of expecting that you're going to be treated like a dummy. So I thought that that was pretty powerful. And you know, I said the absolute best way uh, to to uh, get uh, to learn what you need to know and to get comfortable is to go through the process. Now, the bad part is a lot of people don't even know what the process is. You won't even get apartment buildings presented to you if you go in with too too newbie of of language. So you have to be careful with that too. So anyway, that's part of what my 90 day course is about. It really teaches you what it takes to be an investor and especially what it takes to be an investor who deals with other people's money. There, there's just steps that you need to take. Uh, I know I get uh, different deals across my desk all the time. And you know, 90% of them, I don't, I, I don't even look at because they absolutely don't make any sense. They don't tell you what you need to know. Uh, and and when you're when you're a newbie um, uh, real estate investor, you don't know what an investor is looking for. So we we cover all that off in the course. We teach you what an investor is looking for. And you know, I was a financial advisor for 20 years, and I know what investors uh, look for. And whether it's uh, newbie investors or sophisticated investors or what or whatever or or what they should know if they're not asking you the right questions. So that that's the other stuff that's covered in the course. Um, just give me one second. I'm just uh, Shandell wanted me to cover off some of the bonuses that are being offered this this particular day. I believe she's got some bonuses that are cutting off at midnight tonight, and that was one of the things that she wanted me to get out, get out because. Um, uh, she's having some trouble getting uh, the connections we have. We do have a webinar tonight at 8 o'clock uh, CST. So I think Shandell's going to post that on the feed here if you want to look for that. Um, and then uh, uh, you can you can just register and get on. Um, uh, are you going to have the registration link on here too, Shandell? Probably will. She's smarter at that kind of stuff than, than I am. So anyway, the course is starting soon, January 10th. Uh, and uh, for this special price, you've got to be in before the end of the year. And there's, there's some bonuses to doing that. I think Shandell sent out an email the other day about the tax savings. If you're, uh, if you're a business person, you can write off any of your education towards real estate, any of your education that you're training so that you know how to do this properly is, is a write-off for you. So you can get that in on this year's tax return. Uh, and uh, uh, the, the outline is we cover off vision, uh, finding the money, uh, mastering your market, which is what uh, Tyler just talked about. Uh, money mindset, because I think that that's really, really important, especially if you're looking at the larger deals. Joint ventures, small apartments, making deals come to you, talking to investors, drafting your story into a presentation, and marketing yourself, social media and digital marketing, and then last, systematizing it all for success. Um, so just give me one second. I got a couple, couple details here that we want to share.
Feel free if you have any questions while I'm searching for this. Ah, this is a good one. This is something that uh, I think is really important to offer when you're when you're offering courses like this. I have a personal guarantee on my course. Uh, if you show up, do the work consistently and on time, but see no results, I'll gladly give you a full refund. Um, the satisfaction I get from watching people is is wonderful, and I see the growth in people from week one to week twelve. It's amazing. I've seen people already uh, getting uh, properties under contract within the twelve weeks. Um, uh, it isn't for everyone though, because I absolutely expect you to do the work and the homework. You don't just sign up and then sit back and by osmosis uh, get yourself a building. There's work that definitely has to be involved. Uh, we're going to help you pinpoint uh, your target market, your ideal investor, tell you how to reach out to them so you never have to depend on luck to find investors anymore. Sorry, just got a call there. We'll pinpoint the exact number you need to hit your goals so you never have to worry about your future again either, what it's going to take, how many buildings it's going to take and stuff like that. You'll have specific weekly homework that'll walk you through step by step of what you need to accomplish to add more real estate to your portfolio and achieve the financial freedom that you want. Uh, we can help you fast track your results through credibility and status with proven methods we use every day. Uh, for the month of December, like I said, uh, I was sold, sold this course all last year for $5,000. For the month of December only, I have it on sale for $1,295. And the reason is, is I want to reach as many people as possible, uh, get the knowledge out so that people can start doing something. I believe that we're in the market cycle where now's a good time to be buying. Um, the next 18 months is going to be a real uh, window of opportunity and I want people to be able to take advantage of it. And uh, there's a lot of people out there right now too who are really dissatisfied with the returns they're getting on their money and that's where you come in. You can help a lot of people. Because uh, as, I, as I say all the time, uh, you don't get to just use other people's money. Uh, you're actually providing a really, really, really good service uh, by helping them invest in real estate when they don't have, with invest the investors don't have time to look after it themselves. Um, what else do we got here? Oh, and there's also a three payment option, uh, $4.95 uh, a month, if you want to do it that way. Okay, so here's the bonuses. I'm finally getting to that. Okay, so the bonuses involved in the in the program are, you're, you're going to get another whole course. It's another 12-week course, and it's a mindset training course. I think that um, too, too many people don't spend enough time growing themselves as a person, and they get frustrated and and uh, with with the challenges because real estate can be challenging, just just like life can be. It's not anything you can handle, but you do need to uh, grow as a person as you're as you're growing, or you're gonna get stuck. So I'm I'm gonna be building a um, a 12 week mindset course. It's not ready just yet, so I don't have a date to announce it. Uh, but you're you're going to get that for free as part of this program. Uh, the other thing you get is uh, when you sign up, you have lifetime access. So if it's not something you can get right at in January, uh, know again that there will be another one starting up in April for sure. Uh, and that uh, you you just have to buy it in December to get the price. Um, so uh, and, and you also have lifetime access so you can access it anytime you want to. Uh, I'm always updating it so each each round that comes out is has got newer stuff in it all the time. So uh, some people like to get back on again and again and again. Uh, you're also going to get access to the 90 Day to 5K Mastermind Private Facebook group. This isn't a 24-hour special. That's something we want all of you guys to be in, uh, but it is one of the bonuses. We like you guys to um, uh, hang out with other like-minded entrepreneurs. It's so cool to be able to do that with everybody, uh, you know, working towards the same goal. It's really, really nice to, have, to know the people in the group. And, you know, the very first course we ever took... Uh, we actually met 
uh, partners that are that we've got the majority of our buildings with today. So uh, you never know when you're going to meet that next partner of yours. Um, the 90 Day to 5 Clay uh, course also includes uh, a one-on-one -on -one coaching call with myself. I do it about halfway uh, through with you, with each of you. Um, I like to know uh, what your feedback is on the course. Uh, this is how it can course correct if there's anything you're not getting that you feel like you should be getting. Uh, and and it gives, still gives me six modules to be adding it in. That's why I'm saying I'm always adding and tweaking and subtracting. Uh, a lot of it depends on the questions that I'm getting from people. Each and every uh, module is live, uh, unless I have something come up at the odd time I'm, I'm out of town and then I might do, uh, send out a recording. But the, um, the majority of the time it is live and at the end of the call we always have a, a live Q&A. So uh, I'll stay on and answer as many questions as you have. Uh, and if you're working on a deal, I mean that's stuff that you can send back and forth to me too and I'll have a look at it for you. And then there's more. Uh, we have a three-day live event coming up in March, March 27th, 28th, and 29th, right here in Regina, Saskatchewan. And you're going to get complimentary tickets to that as well. And uh, one of the, the things, actually, uh, one of the things that we do at it, which we've got a lot of really positive feedback, is we do a play on the, on the um, Dragon's Den, and we call it uh, the Prophet and the Prairies, or the Prairie Dragons, that's what we call it. And, uh, but it's all based around real estate. So um, if you have a deal uh, that you're working on, uh, you get a chance to present uh, to the Dragons at the, uh, at the event. And you know what, they're, they're investors who are looking to invest. So uh, we, we actually, Warren and I got a deal uh, at, the, at the Dragons last year. So Warren was one of the Dragons, so it worked really good. Uh, what else do you get there? Oh, in January 11th, I am going to do a half day strategy and planning day as well. Uh, I think that uh, January is a really good time to to decide what 2017 is going to look like for you. And I've got some uh, some things that I want to share with you on what I do each year to set up my year for success. So um, that's a three day, three hours that day, 9 a.m. till noon CST again. Um, and I, I think you'll get a lot of value out of that as well. Uh, what else do we got here? Oh, this, this is the big fast action bonus. So my marketing team has got together and they are going to, and, and they're the ones that uh, have got me on all, all these Facebook lives and everything else that I'm doing. They're very, very, um, very good at what they do. And they are gonna throw in a four week course that'll walk you through step by step what it takes to market your real estate business, what it takes to attract investors, and what it takes to get yourself known online. So they're really, really good at that. The, the training is specifically designed for real estate entrepreneur entrepreneurs and will be on sale in the new year for $7.95. So think about that. You're getting all of this for $1,295. That bonus alone is worth $795 and I've seen them sell it for that. This course was sold all last year for $5,000. Three day event, uh, the regular tickets are $295. The VIP tickets are were $997 last year, just so you know, you're getting all that. The mindset training course, this is a first time out, so it's gonna be a bonus, but I, I have a feeling that that uh, course will be sold for $19.95 after the fact. So again, uh, free, free for you. What else do we got here? Is that it, Chandel? Did I cover everything? I know you're on there, so you can you can let me know if I if I covered everything. It it this course will really uh, really work wonders for you. I I've seen it. I've seen. I put all my uh, mastermind students through it. I actually started the mastermind before I did the ninety day, and now I'm gonna uh, make the ninety day a prerequisite for anybody getting into the mastermind because. It really does cover all the basics of what you really need to know 
uh, the uh, the mastermind is great for if you want to start partnering with other people and, and doing deals together because uh, there's still a lot of fear involved when you're going with deals and big deals especially and sometimes people just can't raise uh, four or five hundred thousand dollars to get a building done on their own so it's nice when you have people that you can work together and then of course it's ongoing training uh, it's ongoing masterminding it's ongoing training and stuff like that and, and but in order to get there you have to be here first so uh, I look forward to working with each and every one of you. I, I get really excited to see what everyone is is doing and producing, and I expect great things from you. I'm gonna uh, I'm challenging my uh, my group in January that I want their first deal done within the 90 days. You know, so you're gonna be out looking at live deals uh, within about week four. And uh, and I want I and same with my my group in in December week four is next week, and I want them out starting to look at live deals. And even if they're not a hundred percent ready to do it themselves, there might be other people that are ready to work with them. And those deals might just be a duplex, uh, but it could be a twelveplex or eighteen plex. Who knows? It just kind of depends where you're at with your mindset. If you think twelveplex is too high, well, it's likely it is. Uh, but we're going to work on that too. So um, thanks everyone for being on. If you have any questions, uh, like I said, tonight we've got the webinar and um, you're going to, uh, you can hear more about this if you like, uh, more about uh, real estate and why real estate if you're not quite sure this is for you yet. Uh, a little bit about my story, how, how I came to, came to be in real estate, stuff like that. And uh, so you're welcome to join the webinar or uh, I think Shandell's going to put a link on here if you just want to go straight to the course and purchase it. It's, uh, it'd be a great Christmas present for somebody in your family who's shown interest or friends who's shown interest in real estate investing, don't know where to start. Um, I still think of this nice little uh, note I got here. I don't know if you guys can see it, if it, it might uh, show up backwards. But this is from uh, two young guys that just started with me in May. And I'm so proud of them. They're like 20 years old. And they bought their first apartment building. They took possession in, in, on December 1st. And that's what they're, they, this was attached to a very nice bottle of wine. And it says, if it wasn't for you, we'd be would still be buying that house in the hood. <laughs> so they bypassed the house in the hood and went straight to almost a brand new apartment building. So they are so excited. And uh, yeah, Tyler, no pressure, no pressure. But we, we, want, we want people to be doing deals. I'm going to be writing a book next year. And I want my success stories to be in it. I, th I think it's going to be huge. And I want to showcase you guys and get it out there to, to a lot of other people. And you know, uh, you'll, you may get your, some of your investors that way when they see that you're uh, a person who knows what they're doing. You know how to analyze a deal. You understand a good deal and stuff like that. So uh, uh, it, it could be a really great way for you to be um, uh, uh, maybe not world renowned, but renowned a lot next year. It, it's there. You get a lot of uh, attention when you have a book out. Uh, uh, Chandel says, if you want to check out the program and secure your spot, go to 90 days to 5 kca slash get started. So I'd love to have you on board. Great Christmas present, like I said, and uh, and tax right off, uh, and you'll learn a lot. Guaranteed, you'll learn a lot. So uh, thanks everyone for being on, and bye for now. And we'll we'll talk to you soon. Have a very merry Christmas, everyone.